Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel for another speed build. Today we are renovating an apartment in San Maishuno and this is originally Penny Possessor's apartment. I have renovated this apartment previously for my concrete monochrome apartment speed build but this time around it is going to be a totally different one, much more colourful. So this is going to be a boho inspired apartment and it's also part of my alter ego series where I build houses or renovate apartments according to what my alter ego would like. So for this particular part for this particular alter ego, I know I would love to live in an apartment with boho vibes, so a lot of plants, textures and patterns. And for the kitchen, I knew I wanted an exposed brick wall and just open shelves to display all my knickknacks and instead of a proper dining table, I also went with um, this countertop. Okay, I didn't really use the kitchen countertops, but I just used this high table thing from the industrial loft kit and then just placed four chairs around it um the entire four plan floor plan oh my god what is wrong with english today but the entire floor plan is pretty much open and i would say i like that there are no no walls in between because the space is quite small already and i personally think having walls will make it look even smaller at least for this um, vibe that I was going with and instead of having a door to the bedroom I just placed curtains from Island Living and also made a platform to create a separation from the living and dining area so overall I had lots of fun renovating this boho inspired apartment and I hope you'll enjoy this speed build too so this build is already up on my gallery, so you can download it under my gallery ID ShanSimsYT or using the hashtag ShanSimsYT. And I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. Let me know what you did. I had a pretty eventful one. So on Saturday, I went for an exhibition. And then on Sunday, I went out for Mother's Day lunch at this cafe called Sing Coffee Bar. The food was great, but the coffee could be better. So we ordered a crab meat eggs benedict um a seafood risotto and then also um the mac the mentaiko mac and cheese and our favorite was the seafood risotto followed by the mac and cheese the crab meat eggs benedict was quite disappointing to be honest it reminded me of tuna mayo <laughs> but we would definitely visit again for the food but probably get the coffee somewhere else so um, if any of my Singaporean friends want to visit this place, um, I would say um, it's pretty, it's, I, okay, I wouldn't say, okay, wait, let me think, let me think how I should phrase it, but I think it's worth trying. Um, I will go back for a second time just because I had, um, I had a pleasant experience the first time round and I do want to try their other dishes, but the dishes we ordered on Sunday were pretty heavy. So um, in Singaporean terms, we would say um, if you eat too much, it will be, be, be a bit jalak. So um, definitely, I think it's a place where you would want to have, where, where you would want to bring maybe like two, two or more friends along with you. Because just the mentaiko mac and cheese was very filling. And I doubt you can order something else if you were if you were there with just uh with another friend yeah so if you want to try more things um i definitely recommend um maybe a large like a large group of friends yeah so yeah and then afterwards we after the lunch my family we just went over to town we did a little bit of shopping my mom wanted to get a new pair of sandals so yeah, and afterwards I went to a friend's house for Hari Raya. Uh, it was it was very fun. Um, I can't remember the last time I actually went for a um Raya open house. I think that was probably years ago. And this time around, it's much more fun because um, there's no more restrictions to the number of people you can have um entering your house. There's basically no restrictions anymore. So it's definitely a more eventful year. And yeah, I had lots of fun. Um, I can't, I don't know if you still can, I don't know if you can tell, but I still think I sound a bit nasal. 
so the the blocked nose is like it's definitely gone but I don't know why it's just somehow um at different times of the day my my voice just sounds a little bit different than usual and this is definitely that time of the day if you didn't know I caught COVID previously so my voice sounds a bit meh right now yeah <laughs> but I do hope this goes away I have so many friends telling me that their symptoms kind of lasted a few more weeks even after they tested negative so yeah let's just let's just pray and hope that um this this nasal nasal voice goes away soon but anyways um I basically talked over the whole um kitchen uh, the, the whole decorating of the kitchen area but right now we are on to the living space and I like that I included a lot of plants in this build because I really love plants to be honest um, I know that for this particular outer ego I wouldn't mind having a lot of plants so um, they can be hanging plants um, I would love to have you know like a shelf full of plants and then just uh, maybe a another few planters on the ground so basically just make it look a bit jungle-ish but then I know my other outer egos would just be like oh my god this is too messy I can't deal with this and I don't really want so many things lying on the ground because it makes it so much harder to um just vacuum the floor and clean the floor in general and the fact that I would need to constantly walk back and forth so that I can water and you know just let the the water drain out from the pot so it's like on one hand it looks very nice it looks very aesthetic but then it also it is also such a hassle to keep going back and forth and just to maintain um the cleanliness of the house so this is only something i would do in the sims and that's why i'm building this in the sims yeah but right now we're just um so right now we're just decorating and filling up this shelf that we got from the blooming rooms kit and i think this is my first time using this shelf i have no idea why but it's really nice and i really like this um this mint color that i went with and over here i also gave myself a workspace which is um where it is it is like at the entryway where you're coming from the apartment so i think this is a pretty nice spot to have the 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 workspace so yeah but i honestly don't know what i would be working as um for this outer ego i actually can't imagine myself doing anything i don't know i mean it sounds like i'm such a lazy person as this outer ego but i really have no idea what i would be working as Probably something freelance, I would imagine. Um, but with such a um nice house and aesthetically pleasing house, I don't think I would wanna work anywhere else. I'll probably wanna work from home. So maybe maybe a job that allows me to work from home or just you know freelance. Yeah, and I liked this um woven baskets that I think I believe it came with the laundry laundry day kit or was it the laundry day stuff pack so yeah i think i think that's the one and then i originally wanted to go with a more classic looking desk but then i was just like mm, i feel like there's too there's too much going on with the desk so i decided to change with changed into one that is a bit more simple um so this is one the one that came with the dream home decorator uh, dream home decorator game pack and i really like this um swatch a lot yeah so over here i also included a lot of plants another hanging plant um some plants on the desk and then on the woven um baskets thingy and over here i also included a bookshelf that you'll see in a moment um i also included an art easel here Maybe I'm a, now that I think about it, maybe I could be an artist in in this alter ego. I don't know. Probably. Or maybe I like, or maybe for this alter ego, I really like um, just painting in general. Because I did add like paintings around the house. Yeah. And the entryway is actually pretty simple. I didn't really do much here. I wanted to put the um, jungle adventure mirror on the side, but then I was just like, eh, I'm just going to put here. Uh, instead 
and then there's also an entryway table where I just you know placed a picture on top of the shelf uh, on the table I mean and then um, just some statues also yeah I didn't really want to clutter up this space a lot so very minimal I like it a lot and um, let me see what else is going on here I think I'm pretty sure we'll be decorating the bathroom next but over here I'm just using another um, blooming rooms kit shelf and this is a really cute shelf where you can clutter it with all your plants I just think honestly the blooming rooms kit is really nice um, I don't know it's just all the plants are so nice and all the, the items that come in the pack is just really cute the colors especially so yeah and over here I did decide to change out the lighting and and used and placed this um i don't even know why you call this but basically something where you can hang all your pots and pans i also kind of imagine that i love cooking a lot um yeah and i would i would say i would this alter ego would probably love inviting friends over um just to hang out because it's such a wonderful place to chill don't you think it's it's just like it's so cozy the brick wall i don't know the brick wall is so it's just very cozy and then the the, the rocks also I don't know everything about this apartment just screams cozy and welcoming um warming I don't know man just all the all the words you can think of <laughs> yeah um let me see are we moving on to the bathroom next okay oh I think over here we're just searching for the wallpapers in this for the living area so I went with this mint color and I really wanted to use pink as well, but afterwards I was just like, mm, it doesn't really suit the whole, I don't know, it just didn't really suit the, the apartment. So I decided to just go with mint instead and then using this, um, this curtains from, I believe it's the paranormal stuff pack. I really love this pink swatch here. There are other plain swatches as well, but I really wanted to add some, some touch of pink. As you can see from the the chairs in uh that I paired with the um industrial loft kit table uh where the kitchen is, and then there's also pink from the couch, yeah. And <laughs> I originally wanted to use this um the light from Looming Rooms kit as well, but then I found this one that looks like some cocktail, and I've never used it before, and I thought it would be quite cute to use it here, and so that's why I went ahead with that, and we're finally. <laughs> onto the bathroom so the bathroom is a three by two tall white um room box and honestly it's very simple but i did use this um, flooring that i've never used before and i thought it looked so cute here and it's kind of i don't know it kind of it's kind of like inspiring me to use this uh flooring for my upcoming build so i think my next build would be a what do you call that let me, hold on let me check what what it's called um give me a second it's called ah yes i want to build a spanish um bungalow family home so i'm thinking that 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 the flooring that i used in the bathroom would be a great fit or maybe i'll use something else i have no idea yet but I'll probably start building the Spanish bungalow um, tonight after I've uploaded this video. So yeah, so I'm currently doing a voiceover in the afternoon just because I wanted to build at night. I haven't been, I haven't built in The Sims I think for quite some time. So um, this, this build, I think I renovated this apartment like last week. So it's been a while and also because I've been pre- busy um just doing my notes and just catching up with friends after quarantining uh for for my covid thing so yeah and right now we are on to the bedroom so the bedroom is pretty big i created this diagonal platform thing and i don't know i just really like that i didn't use a door but the uh curtains instead i don't know it just looks more open and just looks like what a boho inspired apartment would look like yeah so um i used these shelves from i think it's jungle adventure and then i just cluttered up with a lot of things a lot of books um beauty products yeah and 
I also used um, this side table that I think came with City Living. I really love this um, this side table. It looks really nice, especially in this yellow and teal swatch. And then I also added um, some picture frames above the, the bed. So the bed is from Cottage Living and I like that there's this plain swatch. I think this plain swatch actually looks very nice and honestly, I mean, ideally I would, I would have, you know, a lot of um, cushions and maybe um, pillows with different textures but um, unfortunately I don't have the tool mod um, so I couldn't you know just really adjust the proofs uh, that we have in game to make it look like pillows and um, cushions on the bed but I mean I'm I'm considering to download tool I think I just need to watch more videos just so that I could be more familiar with it yeah, but I've seen a lot of people use tool and I'm really interested, so probably in my next few builds. But here you see that I'm finally using that um, light fixture that came with the Blooming Rooms kit. I think this is my second time using it and yeah, I believe this is the final swatch that I went with. So as you can see, a lot of pinks and mints here and then just cluttering up the dresser here with some um, hair dryer. Um, some some plants, um, just your usual cotton buds and whatnot, as well as um, statues of cats. So I imagine that I would have a cat in this apartment. So it was only until this point I realized that I don't have a space in a bathroom uh, for the little box. So I just placed it in the in the bedroom, and I hope it wouldn't stink so much. I mean. Obviously, I would clear it every day, but um, yeah, not so sure if I really, I've, if I would really want it in my bedroom, cause it would probably stink. <laughs> I mean, if it was in a bathroom, it would probably stink up the entire bathroom as well. But um, I guess, I guess putting it here is good. But anyways, um, we are we're at the end of this speed build, so. Um, I hope you enjoyed this speed build. If you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe and turn on the notifications button so you'll get notified each time I post a new video. Um, enjoy the screenshots and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!